Hey everyone, welcome to JLake3D. So I had a user request a um, special project I used to work on just to experiment. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it's done. Someone might find it useful. So uh, basically they wanted a sphere with a grid on it. So as you know, we kind of don't have uh, a lot of capabilities of surface modeling in Shaper. So this is basically if you need to get away with it. So uh, what we're going to do is tools revolve the circle here on the axis. So we have a sphere. And the only thing now that's left to do is to draw a grid. So what we can do is start off by going to the front face. And we need to make one as large as the ball. So we can start off by making one across like so. And then another one across the bottom. And then instead of actually drawing a whole bunch we can simply use the pattern tool to make our job slightly easier. So pattern, and then actually, let me see the size of this first. So this is 40 inches in this case. Let's go ahead and transform pattern and make sure it's linear. Go across, and I want a total distance of 40. And we want to do, let's say, 40 of them as well. So this is a nice little grid. And then we can continue and do the same thing to the other side. So transform, pattern, select that one, and it's already chosen as linear. We can go across 40 and 40 quantity. Okay, and then click done. So we now have a grid and Basically, what we do now is select that sketch, exit sketch mode, make sure the move tool is on, and then go over here, I would say about 11, so that makes it just off, because uh, if it was too close, it might not do the job correctly. And let's delete this circle, it's in the way. And then this might be a large loading screen, considering the small grid size, but let's give it a go. Let's choose tools project and then choose our sketch plane or if we can't choose it that way we can go and click and drag across like so to select it and then click on our sphere and hopefully it works and it doesn't take too long and it did work to a certain degree but as you see the problem we have in shaper is that the grid actually gets distorted around the sphere as we go. So one workaround to that is to actually do it from all sides. So it doesn't really fix everything, but this is just for those people who absolutely need a grid on there for whatever reason. This is basically how you get it done. So tools, project, go ahead and click that left face there so you align it properly and then click and drag to select them all since it didn't want to work from the menu and then click on the sphere again. So as you see, it's starting to come together in a sense, at least in a, in, in a certain sense, like you're seeing a grid of sorts, and then you would have to go also 90 degrees over here. And as you can also tell, it's getting more and more complex as we add more grid to it. So I don't know how useful this is, exactly but again this is just like an fyi experiment so that you know it's possible all right and i'm going to choose our body if we can let's see we technically if we choose just one it's going to select only one piece of that so what we have to do is select all of it just like we did to the grid so we can do that by clicking and dragging like so okay and then Make this the purple one so that it know, knows that it's the selected edge that we want to project onto instead of what we're trying to project. All right, so now as you can see, we added some more and that took a long while uh, for the loading screen there. So we're going to attempt to do it one more time. Again, because of the grid size, there's more details. If the grid was smaller, it would obviously be easier. But... Uh, we're going to go ahead and try one more time just to see if we can finish off that final edge. But I like purple. I like purple.
like that ball purple. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So now we have to rotate it by 90 degrees again after a long loading screen. Oh, actually, 180 degrees, not 90. And uh, again, go to the left plane, go to Tools, Project, select the sketch. And it's actually selecting also. Mm, let's try that again because I actually accidentally selected part of the ball. So let's try zooming in a bit so we can get more direct control. There we go. And then we want to select only the sphere after. Okay, and then make sure this is the purple face. And I expect a very long loading screen for this one and I will skip it out just like I did on the last ones because I don't want you guys waiting here on the video, wasting your time. And so my app actually crashed. So what we're gonna do instead of doing that uh, last side is we're going to go and actually sketch a square. So this is another workaround. Like we have so many workarounds, but this is what we have to do when there is limitations, right? So I, I'm gonna go ahead and draw that rectangle. Then I'm gonna select it and exit sketch mode to move it. And I'm going to extrude this so, so that I have only half the square. And then I'm going to transform mirror on that side. That way I have the whole square gridded up, so to speak. Then tools union. And hopefully this works, considering the complexity it might not. But it did. So now we have a square that's gridded up on every aspect. And... Now, technically, even though we don't have surface editing uh, in Shaper, we technically could work with these to a limited degree, as you can see. So you can go in and make certain shapes and get away with certain things that you normally would not be able to. Okay, but as you can see, it is really... Uh, trying hard not to work with us. But this is just for those people who really need to have a grid on on their project. Uh, so this is the only way currently that I know of to make it happen. I hope this helps you. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help when I can. I do a lot of experiments in Shaper. That's why I come across these hidden gems, so to speak. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, you're done? Mm-mm. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.